everybody, I'm Jones. Welcome to my channel. Today I have two easy and delicious cranberry recipes for you to try just in time for the holidays. So let's just jump right in. We're going to start by making a delicious cranberry sauce. We're going to be using some organic sugar, organic brown sugar, some organic orange juice, I just love my organics, and some mulling spices. So here I have cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and some ground ginger. And then we're also going to use some zest from that organic orange. So into a heavy bottom sauce pot, you're gonna put your cranberries in and your orange juice, the orange zest, the mulling spices, sugar, and the brown sugar. Since it's packed in there, I do break that up a little bit um, before I start stirring all the ingredients together. That way there's no lumps and everything gets incorporated. So just give that a stir to mix it all up. And then we're going to simmer this on medium low for a total of about 15 minutes. So you just keep stirring it every couple of minutes and it'll start to thicken up. You'll start to hear the cranberries pop. And when they do that, I go ahead and go in and start sort of smushing up the cranberries. And then after about 15 minutes, it will be looking nice and thick like this. Then you just want to let it cool down just a little bit before you put it into a jar. If you want to make this for friends and family, you can double or triple or quadruple the batch, whatever you want to do. I like having a jar on hand to put on all kinds of things like toast and oatmeal and I love my cranberry jelly. Next we're going to make an apple cranberry pie. This pie is so delicious, you are going to love it. So we start by coring some apples and I have this little tool that probably belonged to my ex-husband's grandmother. <laughs> I'd never used a tool like this and it wasn't the easiest thing to use. It did make nice cores but after doing a couple of them I kind of gave up and just started slicing my apple like I normally do. So you just want to slice it into thin wedges for our pie. I used pink lady apples here which were really delicious in this recipe. They're just so sweet and tart and went really well with the cranberries. So into a bigger bowl I added the apples and our cranberries and then three quarters of cup of sugar and one quarter cup of all-purpose flour. You could use gluten-free flour if you want. Then you just want to stir that all together until the fruit is thoroughly coated with the sugar and the flour and that's what helps everything sort of gel together in the pie. And then today I am using these pre-made pie crusts. They're organic, they're vegan, they're not gluten free, but I'm not doing this gluten free. So if you want to make your own pie crust, I do have a pie crust recipe in my tofu quiche video and blog post, which I will leave a link for down below. But these are so convenient to use. It just takes no time at all. It's so much easier than making your own, but I do appreciate a made from scratch pie crust once in a while. And then with this you just want to poke a bunch of holes with a fork and then we're going to add our filling. And there's a lot of filling. This is going to make a big sort of puffy pie. So I put in about three quarters of the filling and then sort of spread it out before I added the rest so it wouldn't be just all piled up in the middle. And then we are going to dot the top of it with some vegan butter. I cut it into little cubes so I could distribute it evenly over 
the fruit. And then we're gonna top that with the top crust. You just roll it out really easily. You do wanna keep it refrigerated or frozen until it's ready to use, but you wanna take it out and let it come to room temperature before you use it. That takes about 40 minutes if it's been in the refrigerator. And then once that top crust is on, I just pinch around the sides. You can make it prettier if you want. I'm not an expert pie maker, so it just is what it is. And then I put some slits in the top. If you don't do this, your pie might just explode. And we certainly don't want that happening, right? <laughs> so I topped the crust with a little bit of sugar just to make it kind of pretty. And then I baked it at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And there is our delicious pie. I added a little bit of vegan ice cream. Yeah, just a little bit on the side to enjoy with my boyfriend. And this was amazingly delicious. I highly recommend that you make this for your next holiday or just anytime. So easy and so good. You are going to love it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. And until the next video, peace and happy holidays.